so I have compression in my lower back mm -hmm. and my my neck and back shoulders are always aching because I'm slouching forward. Yeah. So when do you slouch forward? Is it a work posture? Yes. Okay. What do you do? Um, for work, mm -hmm. I administer uh, TMS therapy and okay. it also requires me to be at a desk a lot. So. All right. When you're administering the therapy, so you're holding the magnet. No, I'm. Um, they have a helmet on, and I have to hold it down. I have to put a lot of pressure on it so the coil connects to the, the cranium. You're standing behind them, pushing down on their head. Yeah, they don't feel physical pressure mm -hmm. because um, inside the cap there's a netting that prevents them from. It kind of evens out the pressure that I'm okay. and I'm giving onto their brain. My neck and shoulders hurt the most. Okay, is that an everyday thing? Yes. How far back can you remember it having pain? Um, when I started birth control. And my chest got bigger. Have you ever had pain that goes down your arms? Yeah. Which side? Left. Had numbness and tingling with that? Does yeah. it reach the fingers? Yes. Um, okay. well, did you ever have any other accidents or injuries of your neck? I got in a car accident when I was 16. Um, I, yeah. I mean, I, I had to get 13 stitches in my head. I had to get stitches in my shoulder. I hit the window with my head, so. Okay. <laughs> so you had a brain injury and then you got into doing brain therapy. Yes. Was there a correlation with that? Were you like, no, when you were- No, originally I got into TMS therapy because my brother was in Afghanistan and he has a lot of PTSD. Okay. So I initially thought that I would be able to be treating veterans okay. for PTSD and depression. Okay, cool. How far back do you remember having a low back? Does that go back further or is that yeah, more recent? Yeah, since I was like 15. Okay. All right, so that's, that's more than 10 years then, right? Mm -hmm. How old are you, 27? Yeah. Any other major accidents or injuries that you could think of? I blew up my rotator cuff. Okay. When I was uh, 16, I was qualifying for the Junior Olympics and they put me as mm -hmm. a 15-year-old in a heat with 18-year-olds mm -hmm. for an event that I'd never swam before. Mm -hmm. And so I tried to sprint. Most of it was a butterfly event. Mm -hmm. And on one of the turns, I blew out my rotator cuff. I got a couple concussions during track mm -hmm. from running backwards exercises during warm-ups. One time I tried high jump and um, my foot caught and very stupidly I spun around and hit my head on the pavement and knocked myself unconscious. Right, how many concussions have you had total? Four. <laughs> okay. Do you have any residual concussive effects? No. Do you have headaches ever? Yes, almost every day. Where, when you have a headache, where on your head does it hurt? It usually hurts like behind my eyes in the okay. front of my head and then like a, it feels like somebody's kicking my temples mm -hmm. usually or sometimes it'll feel like a general like headband. Okay. They usually make me throw up. Let's start off with an exam. Let's see what your spine says, and then we'll walk you through the entire process. So explain what I'm doing while I'm doing it, and then when you're ready, I'll adjust you, okay? Okay. All right, looking at your feet first, there is a little bit of inversion on the left. On the left? Yeah, you said the right side was the one that was broken? Yeah, this one. That's interesting. It's, okay. it's almost, so what that tells me is, is that what was happening to your right was perhaps natural to both sides. But worse on the right, so they fixed that, but it's still happening on the left. Oh, sweet. The hip is high on the right, and the left shoulder is high. The arm swing looks even on both sides. Keep going. And the left hip is restricted moving forward. So just observing your spine, you can see a very slight translation. So it's not like a curvature. You don't have any scoliosis or anything like that, but you are translated off to the side. Okay, this is a temperature scan. Much more heat coming off, coming off the top of your shoulders here. It is heat and dampness. In between your shoulder blades, it just gets warmer as we come up. This feels like a priority here. Yeah. This is the transition in between the, the cervical and the thoracic spine. Yeah, I've never even gotten a massage because my back always hurt. Mm -hmm. Like, or not like hurt like that, but it's very sensitive, massage. Tender or ticklish? Tender. Is that where my kidneys are? We're about that level, yeah. Okay, yeah, because I have a kidney disorder. 
I had I got robbed on my lysis. Mm-hmm. So some of my kidney muscles deteriorated. Mm-hmm. Is that also tender? That tickles. That tickles. Yeah. But this side is tender. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's like two different feelings. Completely. Open. Close. So it's dropping on the right. Good movement here. I'm with the left SI here. Go ahead. Open. Close. All right. I'm going to look at your glute fibers now. So you're going to feel my fingertips on the back of your hamstrings first. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to slide up to your the bottom of the glute folds here. You're lower on the right, higher on the left. Then looking from the top, we're externally rotated on the right. Okay. So if possible PIEX on the right hip or an ASIN on the left. Okay, nice and gentle breathing. Still have lots of exam things to happen before I adjust you, okay? Okay. Okay, so looking at your legs laying down, the right leg is still short, which means the, the standing glute test was accurate in this case. Right short. Uh, push down into your sacrum, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, do you have any pain, discomfort when I push here? Uh, no, only at like the last second, but it's just my tailbone. All right, just try to let your hips relax here. I'm going to push to the left. Any pain here on this side? Uh, only at the last second. Here? Uh, yeah. All right, pushing into your lumbar spine here. Left uh, or right? Which one do you feel more? Left? Left. Or right? Yeah, I don't know. All Okay, I'm going to put blocks underneath of your hips to help balance. Just relax, relax. I'm going to lift up your hips. Good. What did the left side here? Very good. All right, let your, let your, wow, that you are relaxed, huh? Hmm. What's this feel like to you? Is this terrible? Yeah. <laughs> it's worse on the right. Oh, yeah, it definitely hurts way more on the right. What is that? Okay, this is your, your trapezius muscle. So this, this big muscle right here are your shoulders. Yeah. This is where the tendons come up and attach to the bottom of your skull. Try to like breathe into my finger right here. Breathe here. Send your breath to this place. Let's go and do that again. E breath right here. Good job. Very, very gentle.
Okay, nice, gentle breathing. This is a stretch of the spinal cord. All right, so we're gonna start in the middle, right here. So let's practice it first. So you're gonna take a deep breath in through your nose, and then out through your mouth. I'm gonna follow your breath like this, and then at the end of your breath, push in that direction, okay? Okay, okay deep breath in and out. Wow. Wow, that is so tight. Okay, we're gonna do one a little bit, a little bit higher, about two segments up. All you need to do is let your back relax a little bit more. Did you feel that right there? Uh-huh. Is it painful? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. The only thing that makes an adjustment painful is when you tense up against it. The adjustment itself should not hurt if you're completely relaxed and if you allow it to happen. But we'll do some more gentle ones just to see if we can help loosen it up and get it moving in the right direction, okay? All right, so let's try two segments higher from the last one I just did. Sinking in, letting your back sink in. Good, good, that was very good. Do that again, deep breath in and out. Good, sinking in, good, good. All right, very top of the spine, very gentle here, okay? Take a deep breath in, good and out. Gentle. Just like before, I'm gonna follow your breath, okay? And when your shoulders are gonna come up like this, I'm gonna bring your hips down, and then we're gonna push in that direction, okay? Okie dokie. Sit right here. Oh, lean your back. Breathing in through your nose, and out. A little bit more. Oh, oh. Lean <laughs> That was a lot. <laughs> I felt good. I like used to be 5'9 when I was like 14 or 15. What? Before I got like all the compression in my lower back. What? Like on my x ray, you can really see it. Okay, right leg is still short on the supine. That's good. Go ahead and turn your head to the right. Center. Now to the left. Center. Okay, bring your left ear down to your shoulder. Center. Right ear down to your shoulder. Okay, nice, gentle breathing. Let your head relax. And then all you have to do is let your head drop into good, just like that, Megan. I'm gonna follow your breath like the other adjustments, and then we're gonna push like that, okay? So a little bit of tension here in your shoulder. That's okay. There it is. That's perfect right there. You're just completely letting go. We're gently pushing in like this. Doing great. Let go. How's that pressure okay? Yeah, I mean, I still feel it. 
You still feel it. Yeah. That's okay. You realize you still feel it. Still feel it now? Uh, no, not so much anymore. Okay, good. All right, so we're going to do the left side now. Just following your breath. And testing first. Let me test. Seven, six, five, four, three. I'm not counting down. I'm just testing the segments. Two. Good. This feels like it's in the middle. Upper. Four, five. Let's test again. Let this relax. Seven, six, five, four. Yeah. Okay, so just sinking in. Good. Let this go. Let it all go. Let it all go. Let it all go. There's nowhere to... You don't have to hold. You don't have to do anything. Every time you breathe out, just feel your head just dropping into the table. Let it go. <sighs> hurts a little bit. <laughs> You're gonna feel so good after this. I bet. <laughs> okay, not bad. You're doing good. some kind of crazy feather on the bottom of your foot. <laughs> so here's how we adjust the pubic bone. You're going to squeeze my face in between your knees, okay? Okay. Squeeze. Hard as you can. Okay, now push your knees out to the side. Push, 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 push. Relax. Okay, same thing. You're going to squeeze. Squeeze. Okay, relax. Okay, push out to the side. Push, 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 relax. Okay, hold your knees together. I'm going to pull them apart like this, okay? Okay. Hold. <laughs> what was that supposed to happen? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's funny. Okay, nice, gentle breathing. Breathe into your belly. Good, let that relax. This time, breathe into your belly, Megan. Good. Out. Good, do that two more times. Good, breathe in. Good, breathe into your belly, out. Tender, not ticklish, right? Mm hmm Almost there. Good. It's tense. You need to breathe more with your belly. Practice your diaphragm, breathe into it again. Breathe into your belly. Breathe into your nose, into your belly. Out, push it, pull your belly all the way in. Breathe in, push your belly out. Breathe out, pull your belly in. Did you feel that? Did you feel a huge release there? I'm gonna turn your head to the right. Okay, let your jaw relax here like this. Just let it open about halfway. Good, and just kind of sink in. Then very, very gentle. I'm just gonna push like that. Is there pain when I push like that? Mm -mm. Okay, very gentle. Let this relax here. Good, you can close your eyes. Nothing to look at. Good. Damn. No. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Let your shoulders sink as you breathe out. Let it go. <laughs> Boom. Did you feel it? Yeah. <laughs>so from here what I'm gonna do just let your head relax I'm gonna follow your breath and then at the end of your breath we're gonna do one little pull like that okay okay all right nice and gentle breathing in through your nose good in, in through your nose and then out through your mouth and following your breath and then we'll go like that okay do that again in and out you can close your eyes nothing to look at good oh. Yeah, that was intense. <sighs>
All right, so we're gonna bring your head, your shoulder, left shoulder down and your head to here like this. Now bring your chin in, look up at the ceiling like this. Keep going, look up. Breathe. Squeeze. Damn. Did you ever hurt this wrist? Um. Any injuries here? Oh yeah, I fell off my bike when I was in third grade and buckle fractured this arm. Yeah, it gave me a Hitler mustache too. <laughs> my handlebars clocked me in the face. This girl that I was friends with just left me in the middle of the road. She's like, oh, I'll get help, I'll come back. And she never came back. So like an hour later, I'd like dragged my body into somebody's driveway and this car drives by and they're like, oh my God, is that a little girl? And I'm like, yes, can you call my mom? <laughs> Feels better. <laughs> muscles aren't as tight up here. You still have a trigger point right there. Okay, breathe. Push your shoulders up into my thumb. Oh, why? Just do it. Good. Breathe. Good. Out. Now let your shoulders relax. Let this one relax. How'd you get this girl on your neck? Oh, somebody cut my throat open on campus when I was 19 in front of like over 100 people. I never got to see what he looked like. But um, yeah, I had to like, I started running to Grady because like nobody was doing anything. So like everybody's just staring at me like it was the worst thing that ever happened to them. So like I got up and I was holding my neck and then halfway there a uh, cop saw me and told me to get in his car and then he drove me to the hospital. A better one than Grady. Hmm. What about the scar on your stomach? 
Um, I somebody pulled a gun on me when I was underneath the bridge at M Lower Wacker in Chicago, and I wasn't thinking. I grabbed the gun, and his friend behind him stabbed me in the ribs or cut me in the ribs, and they ran off. They didn't take anything though. It happens, it's the world. <laughs>